What's up, everybody? Welcome to Falls Count Anywhere. I am your humble, gracious host, Robbie Diesel. This is another episode, man. WWE went absolutely crazy during my little hiatus, and we got a lot to talk about. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we have to talk about the Superstar Shakeup. Um, both brands made some really, really big moves. And initially, I thought Monday Night Raw was the winner. I, I thought Raw was just going to blow SmackDown out of the water. But now, looking at the grand scheme of things, with the moves that they made, SmackDown put themselves in a position to be the number one show like in terms of storyline, in terms of superstars, the whole shot. So before I get into my thoughts on that, the, the big moves that you need to know, there was four on each show, okay? So Raw gained Dean Ambrose, The Miz, Bray Wyatt, and Alexa Bliss. Whereas on the SmackDown side of things, they gained Sami Zayn, Rusev, Charlotte, and Kevin Owens. Um, now... Like I said, initially I was thinking that Monday Night Raw by far had the better deal because of Dean Ambrose being there and of course Rollins and Reigns being there. You have the potential for a S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion at some point down the line. Right now where their characters are, we're miles away from that happening, but it could. It, it has potential. Um, one of the biggest things that you'll see from Raw um, during this Superstar Shakeup, and they've already began to tease it, is you're going to see Bray Wyatt feud with Finn Balor, which is going to be amazing. Now, personally, I kind of wish this feud would maybe be happening around WrestleMania time, just solely for the sake of entrances. Like, both Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor would have nutty, insane entrances at WrestleMania. And I know that's going to happen next year, especially with them being back in New Orleans for WrestleMania 34. But be that as it may, um, I'm really excited and looking forward to uh, Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. If anybody could put over the Demon Balor character, it will be Bray Wyatt and it will be done masterfully. Watch. On the SmackDown side of things, um, I'm really looking forward to uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. That is already in the making. Um, AJ Styles won a uh, six-pack challenge to become, um, or I'm sorry, not a six-pack challenge, a fatal four-way to become the number one contender for the U.S. title. U.S. champion, of course, is uh, Kevin Owens. These two have the potential to put on one of the greatest matches that we've ever seen. And it's, it's going to happen really soon. Um, of course, Kevin Owens is defending the title against Chris Jericho at Payback. And I fully expect Owens to retain. Like, I, I don't think Jericho is going to win. Jericho is slated, actually, to be leaving fairly soon because he's going to be on tour with Fozzie. So I definitely don't foresee... Uh, Jericho going over Owens at payback and I expect Owens to retain and moving forward it's going to be Owens versus AJ Styles and that feud for the title will be amazing. Uh, another feud to look forward to now that the Intercontinental title is on Raw is and I'm, I'm going to say this is going to be a long shot but I think they eventually have to put the title on this man at some point. I think you're going to see Dean Ambrose draw the ire of Braun Strowman at some point. The dude is running red hot. He destroyed the ring with the Big Show uh, this past Monday on Raw. And after he's finished with Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns is going to move on to something else, you know, in, in the main event picture for sure. Um, and that's, that's going to leave Braun something to do. And I think that's something to do is him having a pretty decent run with the Intercontinental title. Um, it's time to put some sort of title on Braun, build him up as, as the monster, continue to build him up as the monster, and there's no better way to do that than to put that title on him. And in the meanwhile, you restore just a little bit of the prestige to that title because, let's face it, in, Ambrose is my guy. I love Dean Ambrose, but he hasn't done anything with the Intercontinental title. And as I've said multiple times, that is my favorite, favorite belt. So, 
if you want to elevate that title, here's what you do. You put it on Strowman, you let him run crazy with the Intercontinental title, and on the meanwhile, you build up Finn Balor until eventually, and eventually, I'm talking SummerSlam, the two, Strowman and Balor, collide, and you have your classic David slaying Goliath story at SummerSlam. That's fantasy book in 101. Keep up. All in all, the Superstar Shake-Up was a success for both brands. Um, it, the most interesting thing that I'm looking forward to see, because you know they're going to have to tell this story, um, I'm looking forward to see which, which woman superstar is going to become the first woman to be both Raw and SmackDown women's champ. Um, they're running parallel right now. Alexa Bliss, of course, is on Raw now. Charlotte is on SmackDown. Both women have won uh, a shot at the title. Um, so Charlotte is going to be challenging Naomi over on SmackDown for the women's title. Alexa Bliss is going to be ch uh, challenging Bayley over on Raw. One of these two women is going to become the first ever Raw and first ever... To the question I heard. <laughs> Alexa heard Alexa. One of these two women are going to be the first ever... Uh, woman to hold both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships and the smart money is on Charlotte for sure she has an incredible win-loss streak at pay-per-views and is already a four-time women's champ but I think WWE might pull a little bit of a swerve because Naomi is incredibly over over on SmackDown and it would be really really fun to see uh, her and Charlotte create really really good matches together on the opposite end of the spectrum, um, Bailey's run as women's champ honestly has kind of started to lose steam too. And you can't make light of the fact that, uh, or I guess you can make light of the fact that Alexa Bliss is easily the best talker in the women's locker room right now. So I fully expect to see her go over Bailey before Charlotte goes over Naomi. So. Alexa Bliss is going to hold that distinction as being the first woman to be both Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion. On SmackDown Live this week, you had a six-pack challenge for the number one contendership to Randy Orton's WWE title. And we had a surprising winner, man. The, the winner ended up being Jinder Mahal. He came out on top of, you know, Ziggler and Zayn and Mojo Rawley. Uh, he emerged as the number one contender, and there was a lot, a lot of Jinder Mahal hate on Twitter. And um, to that I say, if you don't like Mahal, Jinder Mahal being number one contender, then you're not a fan of wrestling. Flat out. SmackDown is doing what SmackDown does, and that's create really good storylines out of nothing. When Jinder Mahal was on Monday Night Raw... He was losing consistently to just about everybody, right? Now that he's on SmackDown, he's immediately propelled into the spotlight. Dude is a, a good heel. He has the potential to be a good heel. Decent in-ring worker. I know that he was a good in-ring worker all the way back in NXT, and he never really got the chance to shine on the main roster because he was saddled with the whole 3MB gimmick. And... I just, I think that this is a great move on SmackDown's part. Why? A, you create instant interest in Jinder Mahal. And if you don't know, WWE has always had a huge interest in cracking into the Indian market. And what better way, what better way than to create a heel contender for the biggest championship in the company... Yes, the Universal Championship will always be second to the WWE title. That's just the way it is. What better way to break into that market than to have this guy compete as uh, or against your number one guy in the company? I mean, he's in phenomenal shape, the best shape he's ever been in his career. Um, he's going to do good work uh, against Randy Orton. He's going to work a match that is very, very familiar with Randy Orton's pacing. And he's instantly a throwback to kind of the, the 80s and early 90s of professional wrestling. There was always people who we thought 
didn't deserve a shot at the title and that didn't mean that they were going to be champion right away they just created a storyline something for the champ to do until somebody else stepped up and i think that mahal will give randy orton that and uh with the debut of the bollywood boys as well it looks like they're gonna have a stable uh, with Mahal and the Bollywood Boys, who were a tag team from NXT, and they're going to give some shine to, to Jinder Mahal, and good for him. He was, you know, fired uh, a couple years ago, and he came back to Monday Night Raw, um, and, and he did his thing, man. He, he's been doing his thing for a while, so kudos to him. Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal, after Randy Orton finishes with the whole House of Horror thing. <laughs> it's going to be a good match. Give it time, let them build, chill out with the hatred. Jinder Mahal, is, he's, he's going to do a decent job. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. All right, dudes, that's it. That's this week's Falls Count Anywhere. Couple hot takes, um, some interesting fresh rivalries. If you don't think that my rivalries are cool, comment down below with who you would like to see face off against each other since the Superstar Shakeup is going down. Let me know what you think. Also, make sure that you hit that like button so that you get this video on the main page of YouTube. Let's get this feature. Let's get more eyes and ears on this product, man, so we can continue to do this every single week. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. I am one person away from 100, and then I'll be 900 away from 1,000, and then so on and so forth. Let's just keep building this channel, guys. This is great content all the time. Um, we're going to have some Comic-Con stuff up really soon. I appreciate the support, but let's keep pushing. Let's move this thing. Um, hit that subscribe button. You'll get everything, and it'll be good stuff. I promise you that. I am Robbie Diesel. You can follow me on Twitter via at Robbie Diesel. Make sure, hop over there and follow me. I always tweet about wrestling and other weird stuff. Join the conversation. Let me know what you think on Twitter. Comment down below on this video. This has been Falls Count Anywhere. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.